mice may be small and cute, but they can cause big damage and an ugly mess in your RV. We're Mike and Jen with the RV Lifestyle. And for the record, I don't think that mice are cute. We have heard horror stories over the years about mice chewing through wires, insulation, and even walls. Not to mention the mess they, their buildup can clog vents and wreak havoc on appliances and engines. You know, mice are a problem. But I'll tell you what really is a problem, a dead mouse. It really causes a stink up. Anybody who has ever returned to their RV to be confronted with this horrible smell knows exactly what I'm talking about. So whether you have a rodent problem or you just wanna avoid one in the first place, we have some tried and true tips that we wanna share on how to keep mice out of your RV. Tip number one, know thine enemy. I know that's a little dramatic, but it does help to know how mice get into your RV. And most, under, most RVers underestimate how small of an opening mice can take advantage of. Mice have collaps collapsible rib cages. That means if their head can fit into the hole, so can the rest of their body. A good rule of thumb, if a pencil can fit, a mouse can fit. Mice can also jump surprisingly high, which we'll address in tip number five. Well, tip number two, though, is scour the exterior of your RV for possible entry points. Now, armed with the knowledge from tip one, you can better identify where a mouse might enter your RV and seal it or block it off accordingly. Scour the exterior for any small cracks or openings that a pencil could fit through. I recommend using a flashlight and brightly colored tape so you can go and find them and then mark every possible entry point. And then you can determine what materials that you need to cover or fill up the openings. Since mice most often enter your RV from the ground, you'll want to crawl under your RV or employ somebody else to do the job, even if that somebody is a grandkid. Number three, seal all the holes and cracks. The easiest way to seal off openings is to use a spray foam, RV sealant or caulk or steel wool or a combination of the three. You simply fill or cover the small holes with these materials to make sure mice can't get in. Note that steel wool is a good choice. If you want to re, uh, easily remove it later on, for instance, you might want to use it for vents or open pipes while your RV is in storage. Just be sure to mark these areas with brightly colored tape so you remember to remove the steel wool later. Tip number four, use mouse deterrents. Now there's debate on how effective various mice deterrents are. Sometimes it just depends on the mice in your area and their particular taste. But here are some mouse repellents and deterrents that many RVers do swear by. Cotton balls soaked in peppermint oil, peppermint oil spray, fabric softener sheets, mothballs, fresh cab rodent repellent, all of those will lose effectiveness over time. So if you use one, you're going to have to replace them or update them regularly. And tip number five, burn all bridges. Mice can jump up to 13 inches, but they prefer to climb. So you need to remove any bridges that e give easy access from the ground to your RV, such as stacked wood or tubes hanging down. What about your tires? Well, you can try the mouse deterrent or go out. Go all out by wrapping sheet metal around your tires. Mice can't climb up slippery surfaces. And since the sheet metal is a bit of a hassle, you probably don't want to do it on uh, camping trips. But it's a great idea when you're storing your RV for a long period of time. Well, that is all of our mice battling tips for this video. Be sure and subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel for more money and time-saving RV tips. Happy trails!